you know, in Pakpatan, it's very competitive during the wars, like who gets to play at what time. And then how many people are like having to pay off the peer to like the Gari Nishin to get a spot at the Pandal and who's like really selected. So it's it's very deep culture and very complex. It's a bit of like a Dar, Darbari mafia going on. In those early years, a lot of our friends were very fascinated to see us so disciplined and so focused on something because a lot of our friends also being like the wild types that you know had left their culture and left their family to pursue like some spiritual direction in life at some point people were like i really i want to learn too what are you doing like how do you do that and what's the words to this and so that's what inspired us to form the group and um my idea there was that okay let's let's do it let's form a kawali group because we were just learning it, but it was like, let's form a Kali group as an experiment for th and we'll have one for three months because all these people wanted to be part of it. So we'll have these 10 people, these 10 friends, and we'll, we'll learn all this music together and we'll learn these four Kalams in three months and then do it and then put on a Sema for all of our friends. Not that we knew very much at that time, but we knew enough that people were like, oh, wow, they're really um, studying this and doing their best to, to, to sing it. And the fact that we you know, were trying all these different sarigams and singing in like uh, Farsi and, and Punjabi too, like, wow, they're really going for it. So there was a fascination, especially because we were like young, like ragamuffin types. It was like, who are these people? So especially when we performed we offered our first Hazri in, in Pakpatan during the Urs of Baba Fidi. And it was like tens of thousands of people and it's broadcasted on national television. We didn't know all that. We were just like invited to sing during the Urs and we, I mean, we had our whole group there. So people were really fascinated. Like this whole group of, of white dervish looking kowals. There was definitely a fascination and excitement of like, what's this gonna sound like? It was like <laughs> And we all had our like bakara topis and our sherwanis, like and lungis. We were dressing like you know the ustadon ka ustads back then. I like that. We all like the look of you know ustad fatili khan mubarak ali khan. That look. The first kawali we did was mankunto mola. There's the big listeners in the front that are always like, are these kawals gonna impress me? Kind of attitude. Sometimes they don't even move because they're just making a point that uh, I've seen this so many times. It's like. You have to, I'm going to be in hibernation here until something actually moves my heart. You know, there might be a million people listening or like 10,000 people at the oars, but the koals are really singing for like Baba Sab and then like four like bazurgs in the front that are like really hard to crack. <laughs> and so we, yeah, I remember we did Mankunta Mola and that's, you know, it's a big deal to sing Mankunta Mola because it's such a dignified and respected kawali. And, I remember that moment of all those bazooks like jumping up and and giving us dad and nazar and so it was really really encouraging and and you know that year we also played you know at uh, Urz Data Saab and we played in uh, Urz Nizamuddin Olia so we had a lot of big exposure of being able to bring this music. I remember um, one of our Koalis at Baba Sab was like the highest selling uh, VCD in Pakpatan. And we didn't know about it, but then suddenly it was like a bit competitive. It was like, okay, you guys really want to do Koali? You know, in Pakpatan, it's very competitive during the wars, like who gets to play at what time? And then how many people are like having to pay off the peer to like the Gari Nishin to get a spot at the Pandal and who's like really selected. So it's, it's very deep culture and very complex. It's a bit of like a Dar, Darbari mafia going on. We played in China, like where you play in a place where people, it's not part of their native culture, but they're so moved. They're so moved by it. That's always a really special experience because you go to such a different place, like we're playing in Siberia or something, and you don't expect people can relate to it. And you see how this this kawali that's been brought from the Khwajiga has such an effect on anyone's heart. So those moments are very precious in concert. People like, you know, hearing Lala Meri, Patarikyo, Bala, Julila, and Mastamast, you know, 
this, you know what people like and people always want to hear uh, Piega de Aya and all the, the fast cranking numbers in concert. Mm-hmm. 